Hi little Tom, this is Grandpa Awesome and today we're going to talk about mosquitoes and bats. Have you ever been sitting around the campfire at night and watching the stars and all of a sudden ah, a mosquito or another mosquito hits you and another one and pretty soon you're ah, I can't take it anymore so you got to go inside and you can't enjoy the outdoor evening. Well it just so happens that bats love mosquitoes so if you had bats where you were out, when you're outside, they would eat all the mosquitoes and you wouldn't have the problem. So the bats have to have a place to live. They have to live close by. But there aren't a lot of caves because bat, usually bats like caves. So the solution is to get a bat house close by where you are and then hopefully the bats will come and live there and then if the bats live there, at night they'll come out and eat all the mosquitoes. So let's take a look at a bat house. This is a, a a typical bat house and if you look inside you'll see that there's a place it's, it's a long tiny spot and there's little spots for them to grab onto because bats hang upside down at night so this allow, allows them to hang in there at night so this is a small bat house let's take a look at another one it's a little bit bigger this one is a big bat house and this bat house can um, hold a lot of bats. It can hold a whole family of bats. And if you look inside again, you'll see there's chambers or areas where the bats can go in and they hang in there upside down all night and at night they come out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on a big pole uh, where we watch the stars at night. So the first thing we have to do is put the pole up and then once we get the pole up, we're going to hang the bat house on the pole. So let's go ahead and dig a hole and put the pole up. Now we're over here at the tool wall. And there's all kinds of tools to dig a hole to put the, put the pole in. But this is probably the best tool to use. This tool is called a post hole digger. And what you do is you put it in the ground and then you grab the dirt and you pull the dirt out. So it's kind of like a shovel, but it grabs it and it makes a round hole. So let's go outside and dig a hole with a post hole digger and then we'll put a pole in it. We'll see you outside. Okay. Okay, so we're outside and I dug a little hole, but let's take a look at how the post hole digger works. Uh, we have the... Uh, post hole digger inspector out here with us helping us along here today. He's eating something but he shouldn't be eating that so okay so here's the post hole digger and what we're gonna do is go down and you'll notice that it pulls out the dirt and uh, boy that's pretty good huh so see how it's digging the hole for us now a regular shovel wouldn't work like this because you couldn't go straight down you'd have to dig Dig a wide trench, but the post hole digger digs a nice trench straight down, so you don't have to dig a real dig a real wide trench. And that's pretty good, I think. Hope that's big enough. Well, we we'll see. Let's go ahead and get our pole out here and see if that's big enough. If it's not big enough, we'll make it bigger. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get the pole. So we'll, first of all, we're going to go get the tractor to bring the pole over here. At the John Deere 750 tractor, and we're going to turn the fuel line on first. So we're going to turn the diesel fuel line on. Now the next thing we're going to do is go around and get in the starter up. John Deere, we can put the key in, give it a little bit of gas, take it out of gear, step on the brake to make sure the brake is in, turn the brake off, and we're ready to go. Let it warm up a little bit. I'm going to raise the bucket in the front.
take it over to the hole. kind of heavy we're gonna try to pick it up first but if not we use the tractor so let's try to pick it up first and put it in the hole there's the hole and let's see if this works put some dirt around it. I'm going to start by just kicking the dirt in. We'll have to tamp it down later, but we'll get it a little bit of dirt in there ahead of time. Pretty good. Okay, so let's stop there. I'm going to go back to the workshop and get a level because we have to make sure this is straight up and down and not crooked. So let I'll come back with a level. Stay, stay there. Okay, we're back in the workshop and we've got the bat house here, but we have to screw the bat house onto the post. So what we're going to do is we're going to use four screws, and these are stainless steel screws, so they won't rust, and they're wood screws. So wood screws are very special because they're tapered and they have a real coarse thread on them. So, but what you have to do, if you're putting one piece of wood onto another piece of wood, you have to drill what's called a pilot hole. So we're going to put the that house on a block of wood because if I drill through, I drill through onto the bench. I don't want to drill through on the bench and I want to make it level. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drill two pilot holes through on this. So here's the drill. This is a portable electric drill by Milwaukee and you'll notice that the drill bit is the same size as the screw. That's real important because pilot holes do not grip. So let's go ahead and Come close and watch me drill. Okay. 
Okay, stay right there. I'm going to turn it around. We're going to drill two more pilot holes. And now, we're going to go ahead and put the screw in partially. So to do that, we have a special type of bit that fits this screw. Now let me see if we can find it. This is probably it right here. Yep, that's the special bit to fit the screw. And let's get a, a driver for it. Here's a driver, or a drill. I'm going to go ahead and put the bit in there. And now watch what we're going to do. We're not going to go all the way down. We're just going to go part way down. Just part way. Okay, do it again. Okay, stay there. I'm going to do the other side. Okay, we're going to partially put this in here. So when we go up there, the screws are going to be already in place, ready to go. So, now, you'll notice that the screws, they barely come out on the other end. Just, just a little bit, that's okay. But they're, once we screw them in, then they'll go all the way into the post. So what we're gonna do now is go out and we're gonna level the post, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the birdhouse up, the birdhouse, the bat house up on the pole. So let's go back outside. Okay, so we're back outside and we've got a level and the level is a very important tool because it tells you if things are crooked or not. So you'll see the bubble, see the, the, the green liquid and the bubble going back and forth? You want to get the bubble right in the center for level, horizontal. And the same thing applies to vertical. Look at the bottom bubble, and you want to get that bubble right in the center, and then you know everything is okay. So this is the one we're using. We're using the vertical level, and we're going to put it on the post, and you'll say, uh-oh, post is not correct. Come over, take a close look. You'll see the bubble's over one, too far one side. So we're going to pull it over a little bit, and that's pretty good. All right, let's try the other way now. We're gonna go this way in this direction. Again, it's not right. So we're gonna push it over till it's pretty good there. Now we gotta go back and check the first one again. And yeah, it's pretty good. So now the post is exactly where we want it, but what we wanna do is we wanna get, make sure it stays that way. So we have to do what's called compact the dirt. Now to compact the dirt, a couple ways you can do that. The best way is to use something really heavy and pound the dirt down. I'm using a sledgehammer and I'm pounding the dirt down all the way around. And that gets, gets it down really, really good so the pole won't move. Okay, now we should go back and test it one more time because sometimes it moves. So let's take a look at the bubble again. See, it moved a little bit. So we're going to push it back a little bit more. Okay. And then let's test it this way again. Just a hair out. Okay. All right, I'm going to compact it one more time. And just to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. I think we did a pretty good job. Now that might settle just a little bit more. So we can take a rake and just rake it in. And then it might settle some more. But there's a lot of extra dirt here 
because the pole took up the space where this dirt was before, right? So I think that's pretty good. Now, the next thing we have to do is to go ahead and put the bat house on the pole. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and take our drill and also the bat house. And we have to get it up there, but you know what? That's pretty tall. So let's get a ladder. This kind of ladder here is called a, an A-frame ladder. And it looks like the letter A. The letter A is the most important letter in the alphabet, and it also is the most important letter to Canadians like Grandma Juju. Because whenever they say something, they say, have a nice day, A. Eh? Or would you like some dinner, A. Eh? Or how are you today, A. Eh? So that's, how, that's why the letter A is so important. So let's move the ladder over. And by the way, while I'm doing this, I don't know if you knew how Canada got its name, but the Canadians were sitting around. They weren't Canadians, they didn't know they were Canadians. They were sitting around a campfire one night and they were saying, what are we gonna call our country? And one guy said, well, how about C, eh? The next guy said, well, how about D, eh? The next guy said, well, how about N, eh? And the other guy said, how about D, eh? And anyway, eventually it's called Canada. C-A-N-A-D-A. A, A. So, okay, we're up here, A. And we're going to look at putting the birdhouse up here. The bat house. And they like to be really high in the air. So we're going to put it right at the top. And we're going to go ahead and screw it in the screw. Remember, the screw's already there. pretty good. Let's try the other one now. Got some more up here to put in. Wow, isn't that great? I think it's working great. I forgot to tell you that one thing that's important is that you should always have the bat houses pointing toward the north because that's the coolest part uh, of the maximum shade. So this bat house is pointing perfect north to the North Star. So now all we have to do is wait and hopefully some bats will come and eat all the mosquitoes. Thanks for watching and we'll let you know how it turns out. Bye, little Tom.